the more precipitous parts of Italy have beforehand offered motivation to those dedicated marketeers in charge of naming new models, yet it has been a while since the dream struck. The Ford Cortina and the Triumph Dolomite, notwithstanding, have been joined by another Italian in the state of the Alfa Romeo Stilvio, an SUV named after Italy's most noteworthy and most well-known Alpine Pass. We at last got the opportunity to discover how fitting the affiliation is. This ought to have happened sooner, Alpha needed to hold the main press dispatch of the Stelvio on a course including the 9,045-foot high Paso dello Stelvio prior this year, yet unseasonably late snow nixed the arrangement. Meanwhile, we drove the U.S. spec Stelvios in Tennessee, now, this later drive is an opportunity to get to know the more dark individuals from the model range in the driver's seat of both the lower controlled form of the 2.0-liter gas motor and the 2.1-liter diesel neither of which is offered in the United States. The Stilvio Pass position at the edge of Italy, settled up against both Austria and Switzerland, implies that arriving is dependably the greatest segment of any street trip including the area. We got the autos in Milan, which means a three-hour trip along both the Autostrada Turnpike and the littler streets that at last convey us to Bormio, a little mountain town that watches the southern end of the pass. It's an incredible opportunity to encounter the 178 horsepower diesel in line for that powers the back wheel drive passage level model in Europe. At 2,143 cubic centimeters, this motor dislodges 2.1 liters. Yet Alpha markets it as a 2.2 liter, this uses a similar aluminum square and head, coordinate infused motor that forces most Europe showcase for editions of the Giulia. Despite the fact that the Stilvio doesn't offer the car's manual gearbox, rather accompanying an 8-speed program as standard hardware. As you'd expect, this motor is a slugger instead of a sprinter, with the most telling measurement being the 332 pounds to foot torque top touching base at only 1750 revolutions per minute. The diesel Stelvio travels with a casual self-control, the speedy moving programmed transmission keeping the motor in its expansive mid-range. Rapid refinement is great yet for some breeze shriek from the highest points of the entryways. Also, even while sharing switchgear and a lot of its trim with the Giulia, the Stilvio's lodge feels both more roomy and more tasteful. The Stilvio Pass turns out to be a harder test, in spite of the fact that for reasons well outside the Alpha's control. Horrid auto commercials taped here propose the Pass is a betray driving heaven, yet the fact of the matter is extensively busier, particularly on a sweltering summer's day. The street pulls and guests from crosswise over Europe and much more remote away from home with movement running from bikes to autos and RVs the distance to full measure visit transports, the greatest of which need to take more than one trim at the directing to arrange the more tightly barrettes. Our Stelvio is soon trailing a long line of activity going at view watching pace. Be that as it may, even delicate loadings demonstrate the basic brilliance of the undercarriage and vindicate Alpha's choice to spend such a great amount of cash on a weight trim aluminum structure. It feels tight and light-footed, is responsive when made a request to alter course and sets up sharp imperviousness to body roll. Ride quality is magnificent, very much damped and on the firm side, but then it manages the lumpier black top at higher heights gracefully. Delaying at a turn out to stare at the kind of view that Heidi had from her window allows the activity to scatter and gives us a hole to press harder on the level over the second flight of barrettes. There are 38 altogether on the Italian side. Pushed harder, the motor loses its self-restraint with some honestly modern commotions going through the firewall as the diesel revs nears its 3,750 revolution per minute control crest. Speeding up remains respectable even on the past lofty slopes, yet the 2.1 liter emits none of the push-harder vibe that has for some time been a normal for even humbly engined alphas. As far as flow, the Stilvio handles essentially like a taller Giulia. Guiding is fast and direct, with the front end reacting to inputs neatly and precisely. There's little certifiable input past the falsely incited weight of the electrically helped control guiding. Alpha is reasonably glad for the way the Stilvio opposes understeer and slower turns. However a lot of this is because of the forceful way in which the dependability control framework twists back the motor when it recognizes the beginning of slip. With just back wheel drive, the base Stilvio needs its front wheels pointing straight before there's sufficient footing accessible to give the framework a chance to sustain the power back in. As in each Jewy and notwithstanding the full fat quadrifoglio, there's no chance to get of debilitating the dependability sentinel or even to change to a more lenient setting, even in its most forceful dynamic mode, the DNA framework doesn't change the mediation edge. 
The outcome is a fine back drive case that feels dormant under the kind of hard utilize that should wake it up. ALF is designing supervisor Roberto Fedeli later affirms that the organization needs to influence defeatable dependability to control standard over the range. Driving the diesel exhibits that, aside from better efficiency, U.S. purchasers aren't passing up a great opportunity for much through its oversight. A change to the fundamental gas adaptation demonstrates it to be a significantly more alpha proper power plant. This is the lower controlled rendition of the turbocharged 2.0 liter inline 4 found in the U.S. market entrance level Stilvio. Though the American model's motor is evaluated at 280 strength, and is additionally accessible in Europe, this unit makes a more humble 198 horses and 243 pounds to foot of torque, the last completely show at 1,750 revolutions per minute. Not at all like the base diesel, it gets all-wheel drive as standard. The gas motor doesn't excite, yet it's significantly more energetic than the sluggish diesel. There's none of the hitting soundtrack that Alfa Romeo used to have the capacity to remove from even its most humble four-barrel motors. Yet there's none of the diesel's coarseness, either. In spite of the fact that tuned for torque, the gas motor is upbeat to every so often kiss its 6,000 revolution per minute limiter. Alpha's claim of 7.2 seconds for the 0 to 62 mile per hour dash with this motor trails its expressed time for the 280 horse form by 1.5 seconds, yet despite everything it feels respectably lively, and some shrewd torque rearranging by the back one-sided all-wheel drive framework implies far less strength control mediation and slower corners. To be sure, the fuel Stilvio substantiates itself more than sufficiently quick on the keep running down from the summit to basically set its brakes ablaze. The all-class peatless carbs helped, as well. Alpha has fitted the auto with an electro-hydraulically helped stopping mechanism, which is asserted to have the capacity to adjust to various conditions, yet it likewise viably veils the softening sensation through the pedal that typically shows that cushions and rotors are overheating. So it was something of a shock to see dark smoke ascending from the front wheels when we in the long run halted. Maybe this electrically helped framework ought to be educated to convey some sort of caution of rising temperatures something much the same as the soft pedal that happens with traditional brakes. In every other regard, the Stelvio adapts outstandingly well to its eponymous pass, and in spite of the fact that we won't be getting such essential forms in the States, they give welcome affirmation of the principal qualities and born to the entire stage. Alpha concedes that the Stelvios that represent the moment of truth display that will choose the organization's whole future. The auto is adequate to succeed, so the inquiry is whether the brand, and its merchant systems, can take it away.